Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Scuff Gaming MLG 5K series. Golden Boy and Bioacid here bringing you the action. We have Complexity going up against Justice. We just saw Justice win what was a absolutely grueling battle against Sigma 3 to 2. Now they take on the number one seeded Complexity roster. A team that has been struggling a little bit online as of late, but we'll see if they're going to be able to, you know, show the complexity that we all know and some people love depending on the team that you favor <laughs> of course uh justice is a team that could very well win as well i mean both of these teams are extremely talented bio oh they are indeed obviously as we, you said justice is winning three two against sigma and it's a great match to see in that whole series in total i'm gonna kick things off here with crims from the cold team and he's gonna head up high to control room but just wait to see if anyone from the enemy team is gonna challenge him up high but down inside of B is two players. Should be an easy two-piece. Can't get both the kills as Stainville shuts him down. Yeah, that's right. And uh, Aches actually now on my screen as he's trying to run away from this one. Able to pick up that one kill. It's going to be a good stop for him. But they have managed to get B as Aches is waiting to see if that player is going to challenge. And he challenges right at that last second there. So com Complexity not able to get the B control right away. Let's see what the Cole Gang can do here as Crim6 looking over by their caution, by the Justice caution now as he flanks around, hoping to catch a couple players off guard. Finding one guy, that is actually going to be a great stop there on Stain. A second one cross as he manages to pick up Neslo as well. And now Crim6 sitting at 4-1. to one. He gets shut down, though, finally. That was going to be from Stainville. Now the base god, Karma. The one and only not having a good game there, so not so much base god now as he's 0-3. And Stainville, the veteran, 7-1 here as uh, Gucci and Stain picking up kills left and right here for Justice. But I want to see what's going on with TP, a player who I consider to be one of the best players in the game, hands down. And uh, unfortunately, though, just not enough, not enough uh, greatness for them to be able to make something yeah. happen there. You are right, like TP, you know, he doesn't get the recognition, I guess you could say, that he does deserve. He's a very strong and valuable player from the Colt team, and I mean, hopefully we'll see some good action coming out of him now on board with him. Picks up one kill there on Neslo, who tried to challenge him outside of servers, and pushing up, he's going to flank. It seems for the C flag to perhaps make it neutral as his teammates push towards B as well. He gets one kill on a player who was pushing in. It was Neslo once again getting that revenge. His teammates all over B here for the Complexity Boys, and it's almost... Trying to bring it back. Now, they, if they can get B flag and hold down that A and B two piece, it's going to help them out. One player is inside of there. It's Karma who is still alive and picking up, just pushing back. Sorry, Anks coming out of there, challenging from the server side of things. Picks up one kill on Nezlo. Nezlo keeps coming back to this B flag, but he's struggling yeah. now. Each yeah. time he keeps coming back, there gets picked up pretty early. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Like, you know, Nezlo just seems to be just lemming it, you know, just moving in there. Goes in, dies, respawns, goes in, dies. And you had mentioned earlier that you, you see a lot of players oftentimes opting to instead wrap around over to the home flag of the other team and just try and make that the case. Of course, it uh, seems like B is going to get contested, though, Bio. But Complexity are on the money. And Karma seems to now have found his form as he's hanging out in the back, picking up the kills there and just making the callouts happen for this team. And, of course, with those two flags still in their hands, they're going to be really happy to get these points in their favor. Of course, they were down by almost 15 points at one stage there, but they brought that back to a five-point game now. Karma, however, out of ammo, has to come up and push inside of control. Now we'll find an MTAR and take that for what it's worth. He'll try and find some players to pick up some kills with as well. He comes out to the right-hand side here. One player on the server in full case. That one, it was, who was pushing up on him just then? It was Stainville. And right now, you'll see complexity, you know, Boy, showing down. why they are the team that everyone wants to beat. They're right up there. They're in the face of justice right now, and... They're controlling this map for how they want it. They've got A and B flags in their hands, and they're just keeping justice at bay down yeah. that CN. Yeah, you know, you, you make a great point there, Bio, when you talk about how they're keeping them at bay. You just saw that map position, but they got a little too gully there, a little reckless. As they pushed up, they end up losing players, though. Karma ends up getting picked off by B. They are going to need someone on the immediate response on B. That was going to be TP, that glue for this team, as he's currently 11-9, and nine, able to get him with the drop shot there. That was going to be wonderful there on Tipsy, but Neslo with the cleanup right away. Now going over to Aches, who is the captain of this team, and a very vocal individual at that. Love him or hate him, you got to just commend the dude for his amazing ability in Call of Duty. On the other side, though, Karma knowing that they're going right after B. Justice trying to answer right back here, back on board with Aches. 
as B will be neutralized and Complexity back on it with three down right now for Justice. It seems like Complexity, like you said, is the team everyone wants to beat when you think you have them, when you think you might have that chance to be able to, you know, create some distance in, or, or close the gap, if you will, if you're down, Complexity just answers right back. Yeah, you know, Complexity were down the first, at the start of this first half, but just like that, they did answer back. They picked the B flag, they held on to A at the same time as well, and they just got that map control in their favor for the time it needed to be. There's almost a 20 point difference now heading to the second half. They're gonna be you know, happy with that effort, but Justice still very much alive in this, of course, because five minutes is plenty of time to close that gap back on out in their favor. So 91 to 74, that scoreline at the moment. So 17 point game is what we're gonna see heading to the second half, but you know, big games all around. And Tipsy not having the best of starts though, four, four and 12 yeah. there. Which is something that we're, we're not used to seeing, especially after that Sigma game. Tipsy was a big factor in that matchup mm -hmm. bio where he was just absolutely racking in the kills. It was it was pretty disgusting to see. He was doing a phenomenal job. <laughs> this time around, though, just not really finding his groove, which, you know, of course, is to be expected when you're facing off against a team like Complexity. They're not going to let you get that opportunity to find your groove. They're going to be right in your face right away. Interestingly enough, though, we saw a slow start out of Cole there at the beginning. Now, let's see how they're going to react into the second half, if that same thing is going to happen again, or if they're just going to continue with that same momentum that they had in that first round. So we'll kick things off with Cole as the round will kick into gear, of course. We'll wait for that time to kick on down, 55 seconds still to go. But you know, these guys probably want to try and finish it a 3-0 in their favor, but I don't think Justice are going to let it happen that easily, obviously. Oh no, There will, of course, all. be an S&D and a Blitz coming up still, so Justice, they could maybe be down after this first one, maybe be down the S&D as well, but they could bring it back in the Blitz, but we'll wait and find out. Yeah, you that's see right. do it against, against Sigma, so they could do it again. But uh, obviously, you know, I, I think most people who are watching would perhaps be tipping Cole, but I, I think that's, that's fair enough because they are obviously one of the, the best teams at the moment going around, if not the best team that always finishing first, always always winning the land, etc. So they are the uh, the team to beat, as I've stated. So everyone's got that on their minds, but you know, some you know, good I, matches. Still I have come. to ask you, how does the Australian scene feel about complexity's dominance in competitive Call of Duty? How, how do they feel, you know, like they stack up against a group like complexity? Oh, you know, it, it's against any team. It, it's always hard to say because obviously being in Australia, there's not that many teams compared to, you know, NA. It's obviously a simple fact of population in that regard. So there's only X amount of teams that you can play against and practice against. But in regards to NA, you can practice and scrim against a lot more different teams and a lot more better teams in that regard. So it's going to be interesting to see at, at champs come that time how teams will, how our teams will stack up. But until you get like the core four members from every single team playing each other, then it's sort of hard to judge, I guess you could say. Very interesting. Well, I, I guess I was more I was wondering more about how the how the community overall feels oh, about we, complexity. We all know that they're capable of, of continuing their run, and we, you know. I don't think there's any real like fan favorites or haters, I guess. In total, we all enjoy watching Complexity, watching Optic, you know, watching FaZe, etc. play. So we're, I think at the end of the day, we're all just fans of Call of Duty. And that is the way it should be. Goodness gracious. People, take a note from the Australian scene, please. So now, uh, you know, as, as we were talking, though, Justice, they are going to have B and A, while Complexity are going to be down two players here. And they're going to try and see if they can find something, figure something out that's going to work out for them. Neslo is uh, working over by the Complexity Caution. He is going to get taken out, though. Stainville and Gucci are going to be the last two left alive over Tipsy off of the respawn. Stain getting cleaned up. Tipsy now on your screen. Five and two, which is substantially better than what we saw at the beginning of that last domination game. And actually that entire game, because I believe he only had like four kills in that dom game. So... That actually is a great start for Tipsy, and this is uh, something that we mentioned prior. If Tipsy gets hot, this team could win. Yeah, it could indeed. He's going to try and stay alive. He's sadly getting picked up there a moment ago on that A capture point, and it's Justice now only having that B flag. And we mentioned this, you know, they might have B flag, but they don't have A or C. That's what you see from some teams. They just rotate around the edges of the map and go for one of those opposition flags and then come back to B later on. Mm -hmm. And just like that, Cole, pick up both the A and B flags are losing C at the moment, but still with that extra flag advantage in their hands, you know, they're going to get more points than what the enemy team can pick up at that time. Yeah, but you know what, though? There is going to be a one Cole member there. As a matter of fact, that's going to be Karma. It's going to be a player that I'm going to keep my eyes on because if he's able to get this kill, no, he is not. 
So that actually is going to flip things quite a bit here for Justice as they're going to be able to get control of B and C now. And like you said before, yeah, I mean, yeah, you, you know, you can go for the flip, right? But now the way things are kind of looking out, it, it seems like complexity, they're going to be the ones playing on the back foot. Currently, they are going to be down by one point, and that is going to be, they're going to be up by 16 total because they were up by 17, I believe, in that last one, right? <laughs> I don't know yeah, if I got that one. Okay, good. My math is not terrible. I'm very happy. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so Justice has their work cut out for them, you know, but a 17-point lead or 16 or 15, whatever, it's it's very realistic to come back from, especially with two oh, minutes geez. left to play here. And they're already, you know, working on it. They're, uh, you know, about six points in when you think about it. So, I mean, it, 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 it is working out for them here. Let's see if they can keep this momentum moving forward as they continue to hold C and B. Here with Nestle at the moment, and like you said, C and B in their hands. They are pushing up for A as well, but they're not so much capturing it or making it neutral. Nestle decides to push anyway and try and get a couple of kills in the process, but there's Krimzik to shut him down as he come on inside of there. So Gucci now upstairs on yellow catwalk. Shots going up high, trying to get the kill tags all over the place, but mm. Teefy comes in on the top part of that exchange. And Nestle now the only one defending here for the moment in B. Yeah, and... You know, again, it's what you mentioned, right? They just go after the home flags, get the home flags, split the spawn. They'd much rather deal with that because the spawns already kind of function a little, a little, you know, weirdly already. So it kind of makes a little bit more sense here. But Gucci and Tipsy are going to be able to get their home flag on C. All the while, though, complexity are going after B. And that was actually going to be Aix here. Finding a player gets contested, manages to cap B. Oh, no, they don't get B. As it seems like uh, it was contested at that last second, and for some reason, Aix, it was like a hair away from capping, but it just did not seem to go through, did not register. So with that said, though, it seems like uh, complexity would look like a prime opportunity for them. But even then, though, when you, when you weigh it up and see, like, what the deal is here, it's 69 to 67. We have 27 seconds left to play here. I can't realistically see this team justice winning this domination matchup no obviously going to finish up a very close ending but not close enough for it to be a victory in that regard so here we have a two-point game at the moment and b flag neutral for the last minute or so yeah in regards to this domination on sovereign so obviously it was the the decider in that regard you know it was stainville who came up the ladder to stop eight from capping it originally and then just at the end there, 75 to 74, finishing up with, of course, Justice picking up the second half victory. But overall, it was complexity to take out that lead and they got that win. So it's going to be one out of them in the series. Yeah, and there you have it, folks. So complexity able to take game number one here against Justice, <clears throat> deciding, uh, decidingly, I would say. I mean, you know, the first, uh, that first beginning i would say the the the, the first first round kind of was like a little shaky complexity wasn't too sure and then karma got into his groove he hang out in the back he was picking up kills making call outs and then he's just starting to see things click left and right left and right and then justice going into the second half they started off very strong saw a very strong performance out of tipsy which is something that we noted before that tipsy needed to do which he did but it just wasn't enough for this particular half. If we were talking about the first half and Tipsy started off with that performance, we could be talking a much different situation here, but seems to be the case. And now going into the Search and Destroy game, I, I don't know if you heard a chance, if you heard all the veto picks. Uh, what were you, uh, I don't know if you heard uh, them. I heard a couple, but no, they, obviously they were talking in and out between that. But, so I didn't hear what maps they actually landed on in that regard. But hopefully it's still going to be a great matchup nonetheless, obviously with these two teams going at it. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. We'll find out. But I think one of them may have been off the panel. I'm not too sure, though. Okay. Not too. Don't quote me. No, right, I'm not going to quote you. <laughs> Don't quote you. All right, guys. So we're going to find out what game two is in just a bit. But it is going to be Search and Destroy. Who do you think is going to take it? Complexity or Justice? You can tweet at myself, Golden Boy FTW, or at BioAcid, or both of us. You know, like, there's always that option as well. Uh, make sure you guys tweet the stream, mlg.tv slash COD. We'll see you guys in just a bit. Don't go anywhere.